Hey there everybody, it's good to be back with you once again, and we are four behind the Dodgers. This is actually the last game of the series. I misspoke yesterday. Uh, so we have one final game here against the Dodgers here in uh, Los Angeles, and we're up against the old Brooklyn hero, Johnny Padres. It'll be Johnny Padres against Sid Fernandez. We're going to go ahead and jump into this one, and you're about to see in a second that it's going to look a little bit different. We're trying something new today, as uh, we always do on this channel. So this isn't new. This we've seen before. And we go right in here behind him, and uh, there you go with the uh, ball low to uh, Dykstra. Dykstra hitting uh, 333 so far. And this is whacked over to right field, and that's going to be a base hit for Lenny. So Dykstra starts off with a base hit, and we start this one off with the dynamic camera, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Up now is Mookie Wilson. You know what time it is, and they call a pitch out, and they've got Lenny dead to right. So uh, Lenny was thrown out. I, we may have been a tad too predictable there. One away, and uh, the pitch comes into Wilson. He swings and misses. It's one and one. That's hit over to left. That's going to head, head foul out of play. One and two the count now on Wilson. Strike three. And that's strike three called. Looked a little bit low uh, from that angle, but uh, was high enough to uh, get the zone. And uh, that will be the second out. So uh, two outs here in the beginning of this one, and uh, we're just uh, getting this started. And uh, let's just make sure that we have everything here on the side loaded up, and we do. And uh, so we're good to go. Two away. Take another look at that pitch that was called strike three, and it was a little bit low, but it was in the zone. Here comes Keith Hernandez. Hernandez has been hitting incredibly well, or was for a while, but he's down to a 328 batting average now, 847 to the OPS. Takes a ball high. I'm sorry, it was a strike, and then a ball away. One and one. And it's just inside. Two and one the count. Next pitch comes in, and that is uh, popped up. And it's going to be playable there for the uh, first baseman fairly. He makes the catch for the out. And that does it for the Mets at the very beginning of this game. And so we go to the bottom of the first inning, and uh, there is no score, of course. And here comes Jim Gilliam. So Jim Gilliam here against Sid Fernandez, and he yanks the first pitch foul 0-1. Next pitch, and that's fouled behind him. 0-2, oh, the counts has got him set up. That was low for a ball, one and uh, one and two. Fouled away again, one and two remains. The ball inside, two and two the count. And that one was low, and uh, Carter had to jump for it. Full count, he had to jump over to get it. A little ground ball over to short, and it'll be Mitchell fielding this, but it's a poor throw to first. Tough play there for uh, Kevin Mitchell. They're gonna give Gilliam a single, so he stays away from uh, getting the air. And so we go to double play depth. We decided to start Kevin looking at how poorly Santana's been hitting. And uh, that brings up now Willie Davis. Davis takes a ball. And a ball low, 2 0. Oh. Next pitch, and that was golfed over to center. Dykstra with a diving catch on that one, and he has it for the out. One away. One away, and that'll bring up Tommy Davis. We've seen a lot of good plays by Lenny Dykstra out there in center field, and uh, that definitely was one of them. So up now, Davis takes a ball high. It's 1 0. Oh. And that's on the inside corner, one and one. Fernandez, uh, I'm looking down here like it's Diamond Mines, and I don't have a list of the number of pitches that were a strike, which is something I could use. There's another strike, it's one and two. And that's a ground ball up the middle. Uh, Mitchell to second for one, but there's no throw to first. Tuffle couldn't get that one out of his glove, so two away, and here now comes Frank Howard. Howard is dangerous, he has some power. There's a ball away to him, one and oh. 16 home runs this season for Frank. And this is hit foul. One and one the count. And there's a ball away. Two and one. Popped up, and that looks like it's going to be out of play. Two and two. Strike three. And there's a fastball in there for strike three. And so that does it for the Dodgers. We go now to the top of the second inning, and uh, it's a no score so far. Here is Daryl Strawberry. Strawberry has struck out only 99 times so far this season. So 99 bottles of beer on the wall. And there's a ball inside. One and oh. And this is wrapped up the middle for a base hit. Now, Strawberry is also a threat to steal, so we'll see what it is that uh, we can do with him. Carter comes up. There's a throw to first, and they're thinking the same thing I am. And there's a pitch out, and he's not going. There's a ball outside, 1-0. and And there he goes, and he's cut down as well. So uh, the Mets in two innings of two uh, runners caught by, uh, trying to steal. There's one away now for Carter. And that's inside for a ball, 2-1. and one. Rounded foul, it's two and two. 
I think I've realized that the problems I had as uh, Carter swings and misses, Padres gets his second strikeout. Problems I've had with these uh, foul balls is that uh, the play-by-play uh, -play speed was uh, delaying things. So uh, two away, and here comes Hernandez, and he takes a strike outside corner, 0-1. Next pitch is low, 2-1-1 one one the count. This is just outside, 2-1. Two and, and that's hit foul, 2-2 two two the count. There's a little ground ball over to short. Spencer has that one, throws over to first, and that will do it for the Mets in the top of the second. Go to the bottom of the second inning. No score, and here comes Duke Snyder. There's a ball outside to Snyder. And that's low, 2-0. and oh. Fernandez feels like he's been falling behind hitters. There is a strike, 2-1. and one. I don't have that ball strike breakdown, though, as that's fouled away, so I can't tell you much about that. I can only tell you what I feel. And there's ball three, so it's a full count now on the Duke. Strike and there's a swing and a miss. Down he goes. So Sid gets a strikeout. That's his second. Up now, Ron Fairley. Fairley takes the ball away. And this is the thing about Fernandez. When he's good, he's good. But sometimes he uh, is a little bit too uh, cute with it. It was a ground ball over to uh, short. Kevin Mitchell grabbed that through over to first. And there's two away. Here now, Johnny Roseboro. It's a ball high to Johnny. 1-0. And outside, 2-0. and oh. Feels like he's falling behind again. Ball three high. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. And another strike, a little bit inside, full count. And that's outside for ball four. So it was much ado about nothing. And uh, if you want to know, if you play a lot of OTP, you'll probably notice that at least so far we haven't had a lot of uh, sort of dead camera angles. I've been uh, doing a lot of scrubbing trying to get those out. There's a ball low to Spencer. And a strike. That's a little bit high for a strike. One and one. Hit foul over to the right side that's out of play. One and two now the count. Two away. Runner on at first. And uh, that just caught the outside corner for strike three. That was a curveball. 70 miles an hour is what it's telling me. I'm not so sure about that uh, reading. But uh, we go to the top of the third inning and uh, it's still scoreless. And yeah, you can see that last one just barely on that corner. Now here comes Tim Tuffle. Tuffle is uh, not hitting well against the Dodgers as he takes the ball low. And hits this one over to second. That's going to be an easy play for Gilly and one away. Kevin Mitchell now, four home runs hitting 204. So when he hits it, it goes a long way. And he's got a one and one count on him. There is a strike. It's one and two. Has fouled away. Now, one of my complaints about OTP is that I can't get rid of the play-by-play, -play, right? I would prefer not to have it, if uh, possible, but uh, you can't do that. It's fouled away. It remains one and two. One of the number of complaints I have here is a uh, fly ball over to center. That one falling, falling, and uh, Davis dives for that and has it for the out. Two away. Here comes Sid Fernandez. Sid takes the ball high. He's hitting 319, which is a surprise. He's been hitting well this season especially for a pitcher. 0-2 oh, is the count on him, though, and he's been set up. And uh, that was in play. Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened here. I think we missed a play. And uh, let's take another look at that. Yeah, so he hit this over to uh, left field for a base hit. The game was telling me that Sid Fernandez is at the plate. Now is Lenny Dykstra, so two away. Uh, top of the third inning, runner on at first. And Dykstra swings and misses a one near his uh, ankles. There's a ball high, one and one. It's foul to the left, one and two the count. It's low again, two and two. Hit over to left, but that'll be just foul. That's inside, full count now on Dykstra. And he swings and misses that one, one golfing again. That's uh, Padres with his third strikeout. You can see he's throwing a lot of curves, a lot of change-ups. We go to the bottom of the third inning. There's no score. Here comes Padres, and he takes a ball low from Fernandez. And there's a strike, one and one. Fernandez uh, throws one that is fouled away. One and two, the count. It's showing me a two and one count up there. So one of those strikes was apparently called a ball. It's hit over to center field, and that's going to be a base hit that falls in front of, of uh, Dijkstra for a hit. So uh, not only does Fernandez fall behind against the pitcher, but he gives up a single to him. Here now is Gilliam. And it's fouled away by Jim. 0-1. Oh and one. He misses that one. 0-2. Oh There's a ball low. So your pitcher gets a single, and you're bunting with your leadoff man. Huh? <laughs> it's an interesting strategy. 1-2 and two the count. Head over to right the foul. 
And that changeup is high, two and two. This is high again, it's a full count. Golfed over to left, and that'll be caught easily by Wilson. And there's one away. Now Willie Davis, and I guess it's probably time for us to go into double play depth. Man, look at that curveball. That curveball was 12-6, uh, to 6, and there's another strike to Davis, 0-2. Oh Pass low, 1-2 and two the count. That fastball just, I'm sorry, curveball just outside, 2-2. Two and two. And it's a ground ball over to the left side. Knight knocks it down, but uh, has no play on it. The ball uh, trickled away from him, and so it's an infield hit for Davis, and that'll bring up the other Davis. Tommy Davis coming up. Tommy Davis hitting 316. And we'll see what Tommy Davis can do. So Fernandez is having a few problems, as he seems to do for us every now and then. Owen won the count. There's a double play ball. It goes Knight over to uh, Tuffle and then on to Hernandez at first for the double play. So we get the twin killing. Go to the top of the fourth inning. Uh, there was some damage done, but nothing in terms of runs. So it's all a bunch of uh, trivia. Here is Mookie Wilson, who takes the ball low. Next pitch from Padres, and that's uh, whacked over behind him foul. One and one. It's hit over to left, but foul. One and two now the count. That's high, it's two and two. Ground ball over to short, and that's going to be an easy play there for Spencer. One away. Keith Hernandez up. He'll take a strike, 0 and 1. And that's hit over to the left side on the line, and uh, uh, Davis, Tommy Davis, is there to make the catch for the out. So two away, and here comes Daryl Strawberry. That's a ball low, 1 and 0. There's a strike, good changeup. And this is fouled over to the left side. One and two. High, and he didn't swing. Two and two, now the count. And it's fouled away. It's hit over to the right, but foul. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. 100 times now that Strawberry has struck out. So uh, that's not necessarily what you want to see happen from your big power hitter. We go now to the bottom of the fourth, and uh, it is still a scoreless ball game. Sid Fernandez has had his uh, share of trouble here so far, as there's a ball high to Frank Howard. There's another one inside, 2-0. and oh. And that called a strike. That was high. High strike, and uh, when you look at that over here, you can see how high that one was. It wasn't even close to the strike zone. Um, so 2-1 and one now the count. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. And a miss is high. Full count now, and you don't want to be missing high to this guy. Strike three. Swing and a miss, and down he goes, and that was high again. So we get uh, Howard out on strikes. There's uh, one away, and here comes Duke Snyder. And that's way inside on Duke. That one inside again, two and oh. Fouled away, two and one. I like watching Carter there behind the plate. He just sort of shifts. You think they'd want to animate some sort of movement from the catcher. Strike three. And there's a fastball in there for strike three, and he didn't even swing. So two away as Snyder just took that one down the heart of the plate. Here comes Ron Fairley. And that's a ball high to Ron. And there's a strike changeup. That's low and outside, two and one. Popped up. That's exactly what we wanted to see. That's popped up, and it's going to be uh, Mitchell making that catch for the out. And that does it. We go to the uh, top of the fifth inning. It's still a scoreless ball game. Here comes Gary Carter. Mets with three hits. The Dodgers with three hits. And Carter whacks one over to left. And Snyder's got that easily. One away. Here now is Knight, who takes the ball outside. And hits this one down the right field line, but foul. One and one. Hit down the right field again. And that's going to hold up for Howard. He makes the catch. Two away. Here comes Tuffle. Swing and a miss by Tim, and that was a little bit high, 0-1. Foul the way, 0-2. The Mets are free swingers, as you can see. Foul the way again. And that was a little bit low, but they're calling that strike three. Uh, it was uh, not the sort of pitch you want to take with uh, two strikes, and so we go to the bottom of the fifth inning, and yeah, it looks like it was in the zone according to the diagram. It's still scoreless. Johnny Roseboro now for the Dodgers, takes a strike that was a little low. And a ball inside. Foul the way. It's one and two. That's low. Two and two the count. Hit in the air, but foul. 
It's one of those kind of weird uh, animations on the foul ball, and that was way outside good junk ball, and he got him swinging and missing for strike three. So Fernandez had the rough start, and now he's come around. Here comes Daryl Spencer. Swinging and miss by Spencer. And there's strike two in the same place. Oh, and two. Amazing how that ball was in the same place. This is fouled away. Strike three. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. That's number seven now for Sid. And here comes Johnny Padres. Padres one for one. It was a ball low and outside. He got aboard on a hit um, facing Hernandez. One of three that the Dodgers have. And just like that, it's a one and two count. He's set up. And there he goes. Eight strikeouts now for Sid Fernandez, who uh, strikes out the side. How about that? We go now to the top of the sixth inning, and it's still a scoreless ball game. Here now is Kevin Mitchell. Mitchell is a swing and a miss, 0-1. Padres is interesting. Now ERA of 3.10, 13-4 the record. That's a way for a ball, 1-1. Having a good season, and that change of misses away, 2-1. And that's ball three down and inside. So a 3-1 pitch is on the way. And Mitchell takes that for a strike haul to the knees. Full count. And that is hit over to center field. Davis angles for that one. Makes a sliding catch. Great play by Willie Davis. One away. And here comes the pitcher, Sid Fernandez. And he'll take a strike. 0-1. Oh, so both pitchers with hits, by the way. Fernandez one for one. Fouls this away. It's 0-2 on him. Let's see if he strikes out as well. As low, one and two, and that's that curve. And that was a changeup and got him swinging, and uh, that'll be the second out. Here now, Lenny Dykstra. There's a ball low to Dykstra. So six strikeouts for Padres, and eight, I believe, for Fernandez. One and no to Lenny. Swing and a miss. Where was that, Lenny? One and one. As low, two and one the count. Taken for a strike, two and two. The order was to pitch him low, and that one was high. It was a mistake by Padres, but that was knocked away. Two and two, full count. Something was called a ball in there. That was low for ball. That was low for ball three. Yeah, what's happening here is it's the uh, ball strike count that's throwing me off because um, it goes with the play-by-play. -play. So now it's a full count on Dykstra. And that's hit up the middle for a base hit. So Lenny gets another hit. And uh, we'll see if we challenge John Ro Johnny Roseboro or not. And there's a change up that misses. It's 1-0. Uh, and oh. There's a throw to first. He's not doing anything. And that's low. Dykstra couldn't go anywhere. 2-0 and oh now the count. And that was low. And uh, Roseboro couldn't get that one out of his glove. They called that a strike, actually. So uh, Dykstra gets steal number 57. Uh, and that was in there for a strike. Uh, just, yeah, where was this pitch? It was inside, but um, somehow managed to get on the corner. So it's a 2-1 count now on Mookie with the runner in scoring position. And that's low again. 3-1 and one the count. And boy, that was, you talk about a big league curveball. Full count now on Wilson. And that's low for ball four. So good pitching by Padres, but he couldn't get Mookie to chase that one. Two away, and here comes Hernandez with the uh, two speedsters on and Keith pops one up and away. Owen won the count. And there they go. Ground ball to the left side. And uh, the runner started with that, but uh, not quite fast enough to outrun Tommy Bate Davis to the third base bag. So uh, we go to the bottom of the sixth inning after Keith fails to get that done. It's still no score. Here now is Jim Gilliam. Take a ball high, 1-0. Oh. Eight strikeouts for Fernandez. And that's a strike in the zone a little bit low, 1-1. One there's a strike. Nice looking pitch. One and two. That curve is just outside. Two and two. It's right field. That'll be a base hit. Fourth hit there for the Dodgers. So Gilliam gets it done, and that puts a runner on at first base with nobody out. Bottom of the six. We'll go back to double play depth, and here comes Willie Davis. It's a ball low, and it looks like they might have been trying to steal with Gilliam. And they try again. Two and oh, the count now on Willie. Remember, Mari Will's not in this game. There's a fly ball over to right field. Strawberry has it and makes the catch for the out. I think they were trying to run a hit and run. So there's one away. Here comes Tommy Davis. And we'll see if they do uh, put Wills in at some point in time. I think that he's tired. I think that's what's going on. The computer manager wanted to use him against us, but it uh, didn't last long. Davis pops this one up, and uh, Carter underneath it, and he drops it. And you can see the laughter from the fans, and there's the mocking and the jeering. So uh, there's one strike now on Tommy. 
That's a ball inside, one and one. That's just fouled away, one and two the count. Popped up, right center field. What a catch, no, it was not a catch. That was a home run. Dykstra couldn't quite get to that one. Animation a little bit uh, confusing there on that. So Tommy Davis with the big two run home run and that makes us a two nothing lead for the Dodgers. We're gonna go back, we're gonna take another look at that. So we're going to uh, check out this uh, Super Stats replay and see what happened. And yeah, this was hit deep to right. Dykstra had a chance at it, but uh, not quite able to jump high enough, and that makes this a 2 0 ball game. Here's Frank Howard. And that's hit over to center a little bit deep, and uh, Dykstra has that for the out two away. So I tell you, Fernandez has struck out eight, but they're starting to get power against him. Here comes Snyder, who fouls one away, 0 and 1. And that's high. Ground ball foul. One and two. Swing and a miss. That's number nine for uh, Sid. And that will take us now to the top of the seventh inning. And uh, it is a 2 nothing lead for the Dodgers. Here comes Daryl Strawberry. That's a strike, a change up there to Straw. And there's a uh, swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Uh, oh outside, just outside, 1-2 and two the count. Foul the way. And that's high, so it's two and two. Swing and a miss, and down he goes again. 101. 101 strikeouts, just like the movie, but there's no black and white dogs here. There's a ball low to Carter, 1 and 0. Oh. That's low, but called a strike. Low again, 2 and 1. So Padres with orders to pitch low. 2 and 1. This is foul the way, 2 and 2. Low and inside. Full count now on Gary. And that's fouled away. Carter hitting now 266, but 15 home runs. The power keeps him in the lineup, but he's not got the average. And this is hit over to left field, and that's going to be a base hit. That just falls in front of the outfielder Snyder, and that'll bring up Ray Nice. So the Mets are knocking on the door again. One away, top of the seventh. And there's a ball way low to the night, 1-0. Oh. That's low again, 2-0 oh the count. Swing and a miss, and another one that was out of the zone, two and one. And there's a ball. That looked like a strike to me. They're calling that outside, and uh, Padres can't be happy about that call. Three and one the count. And that's a line drive base hit in the left field. I guess that was a ground ball, but nobody could get to it. And uh, that puts uh, Knight on at first. Uh, Carter goes over to second, and that'll bring up uh, Tim Tuffle. And now we have a, a decision to make. I'm taking a look here. They're not looking for a potential bunt. The question is, do we swing away with Tuffle and risk the double play, or do we bunt? Down by two, but I think we're going to bunt, and he takes a ball low and in, 1-0. and oh. That's bunted foul, 1-1. One one. That's another ball low and in, 2-1 and one the count. The corners are in, and that's a good bunt. And the only play there for uh, Padres was first base. Turned around to Gilliam, uh, who was uh, covering over there, and the runners move up. So two away, and runners on at second and third. And we'll see if they pitch to Mitchell, or if they walk him and try to get to Fernandez. And there's a ball inside to Kevin. That's a strike, so they are going to pitch him one and one. Way outside, two and one. Inside, three and one the count. And there's the strike. It's a full count. Kevin, you got a swing. Blasted to right, but just foul. Remains full. Popped up and is going to do it. First baseman uh, fairly makes that catch for the out. And uh, so we go now to the bottom of the uh, seventh inning. It's a 2 nothing lead for the Dodgers. The Mets threatening in the top of the seventh, but wound up with nothing. Here comes Ron Fairley, and he takes the ball inside. And then hits one over to Tuffle, whose throw to first is offline, and so... Uh, Tuffle uh, has, commits an error. That'll bring up Johnny Roseboro, and that's the trick with having Tuffle in there. I'd rather have Backman in there, but against the lefty, I'm not sure that we want to do that. Roseboro bunts, and Carter has it, throws over to second in time to get the lead runner. What a play by Gary Carter. And that'll bring up Daryl Spencer. So uh, the uh, Dodgers hoping to play small ball and add on another run, and it doesn't work. And Spencer takes a ball outside. And a ball inside, 2-0. That's high ball three. Taking a quick look at Fernandez, it looks like he's got some of the tank. And there's the strike, three and one. 
Swing and a miss. It's a full count now on Spencer. And that's foul to the left side. Remains full. And that is low. Ball four. Second walk given up by Fernandez. He struck out nine. Here now again is Johnny Padres. And uh, the question is, are they going to bunt or are they going to swing away? We'll have the corners in. And he does bunt. And it's Carter who fields it and throws to first for the out. So that's two bunts this inning by the Dodgers. Runners move up, and that'll bring up Jim Gillian. We're going to pitch to Jim, and uh, he takes a strike, a changeup, 0-1. There's another strike. It's 0-2. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. That's number 10 for Sid Fernandez. He's got the strikeout pitch. We go to the top of the eighth pin inning, and it's a 2-0 lead for the Dodgers. That'll bring up Fernandez, and this is the big question. Do we leave him in? Do we take him out? I think that we're probably best off leaving him in right now. And uh, that's what I'm going to do, but we'll see what happens. And there's a ball high to him. He's one for two today. That's a little below, and that's hit over to center field, and that's an easy catch there for Davis. One away, and here comes uh, Lenny Dykstra. That changeup was low, 1-0. and Outside, 2-0 and the count. Low again, 3-0 and the count. There's one down the heart of the plate, 3-1. and and that's hit over to left field. That's a little blooper, and that falls in there for a base hit. So Dykstra with another hit, and he'll hold a first base. Now with one away, here comes Mookie. Mookie fouls this one off over to the right side, now to play. 0-1. Oh this is hit over to left. That's going to be in there for a base hit. And that one gets away from the left fielder, Snyder. That's going to be an error on him, and that allows the runners to move up. When right under his glove, uh, Wilson goes to second, and uh, Dykstra ends up stopping a third. Runners on at second and third with uh, only one out, and here comes the RBI man. Keith Hernandez, uh, though his uh, average has dropped, has 65 RBIs this season. And so we'll see what Keith can do. He takes a strike. That was outside, 0-1. And, and this is hit in the air, but foul to the left side. 0-2 the count on Keith. There's a ball low, 1-2. and two. Low and away, 2-2. Two and two. That's a ground ball up the middle. They go home, and uh, they get it there in time. Dykstra's called out. Now, here's one of my complaints about OTP. I didn't have any uh, option to tell uh, Dykstra not to try to score. So Dykstra is out at the plate, and uh, there goes Johnny Padres. Ed Roebuck's going to come in. They're going to play righty-lefty against Strawberry. Strawberry's one for three today, but struck out two times against Padres. And so here comes Roebuck, and uh, we'll see if this works out for the computer. There's a strike. Weird-looking delivery. And a ball low, one and one That's fouled away. I tell you, from this camera angle, it looks like his uh, arm is broken. There's a throw back to third base. Nothing happened. Swing and a miss. That's not much of a surprise. I think you could put just about anybody up there to pitch, and uh, Strawberry would strike out. Go to the bottom of the uh, eighth inning, and it's a 2-0 lead for the Dodgers. And uh, here comes Willie Davis, who takes the ball high, 1-0. There's a strike, 1-1. One one. Mets need this game. If we lose this, is back to five games behind. And we got to play San Francisco next. It's 2-2 two and two now on Davis. Low and inside, full count. Swing and a miss, and that one was way low. Number 11 now for Fernandez, and uh, that'll bring up Tommy Davis. You strike out 11, but your team doesn't score for you. Here is Davis, and uh, he tries to check his swing, and they call that a strike. 0-1. Oh, There's another strike in there. 0-2 oh, the count. Ground ball to third, and is played by Knight, who throws over to first base for the out. Two gone, and here comes Frank Howard. There is a strike down the heart of the plate. And a strike. I was going to say a ball. That looked low to me. 0-2. And that's low. 1-2 and two the count. Outside. 2-2. Two and two. Just got a piece of that. Fouled away. That's blasted. That's going to be a gapper. Left center field. And that'll be at least two for Howard. And we got to wonder if Fernandez is just about done. Only hit number six for the uh, Dodgers. Here comes Duke Snyder. Trying to think if there's any reason not to just take Sid out now, and I think that that's exactly what we're going to do. And uh, with all these, uh, well, let's see what we can do here. 
The question is, do we want to put in a Roscoe, or do we want to put in McDowell, or do we want to put in Neiman? I think we'll give uh, McDowell a uh, chance here. So McDowell comes in. Another change that we're going to make is we're going to put uh, Backman in for Tuffle. And the reason why we're going to do that is because they've changed pitchers. They don't have a lefty out there anymore. And there's a foul ball by Duke Snyder. Oh, and won the count. Two outs here at uh, bottom of the eighth. There's a ball low, one and one. And there's a strike, one and two, the count. McDowell, 18 and a third pitch, 3.44 ERA. One and one is his record. Outside, two and two. Didn't go, so it's a full count now on the Duke. Foul the way. Head over to right. That is deep, but playable. Strawberry goes back and grabs that for the out. And so we go now to the top of the ninth inning. And uh, this will bring up Gary Carter to lead this off. Carter takes a ball high from Roebuck. 1-0. and And that uh, cutter was in there for a ball 2-0. Just fouled away. 2-1 the count. Let's head up the middle. That'll be an easy play there for Spencer. That ball died for him. One away, and here comes Ray Knight. There's a strike. 0-1 oh called. And that is called a curve for a strike. Same play. It's 0-2. Oh and, and that was strike three. He went, uh, looks like he went uh, inside, um, or I'm sorry, yeah, inside a couple times. That last one just a little bit outside, but right over the heart of the plate. Two away, and here comes Backman. And he swings and hits one over the left side. Foul. Backman uh, hitting uh, over in the seventh spot in the order is probably not happy about that. Hitting 257 so far. And there's a strike taken by him. It's 0 and 2. Little ground ball over to third base. Tommy Davis fields it and throws over to first for the out. And so uh, it turns out what I thought originally was a three game series, actually a four game series, and we've split it with the Dodgers. Mets win two, and now the uh, Dodgers have won two. That puts us back to five behind Los Angeles. Two nothing the ball game, kind of a quiet game, and uh, definitely a frustrating one for all the New York hopes. I hope you under you. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed that, no matter what. And uh, we'll talk with you again tomorrow, and uh, we'll see if we can't get back to our winning ways. Talk to you later. Bye bye.